Today we've got a probability question sent in by a student. Probability is one of my favorite topics in math. If you want me to go through a video solution for your question, send it in using the details in the description. And if you are interested in private tutoring, visit our website skittles.school to book a free demo. Okay, let's go through this question. So here's the question on our virtual whiteboard. Now the question says, there are some red counters and there are some blue counters in a bag. The ratio of red counters to blue counters is four to one. We're gonna choose two counters at random. And the probability that we get two red counters is 22 out of 35. And we gotta work out how many blue counters were in the bag initially. Okay, so I'm going to start this by actually writing out the ratio. So we have red counters and we have blue counters. Now the ratio is 4 to 1. So for every one blue counter you have, you have four red counters. But we don't know how many blue counters there are. So I'm going to say, if blue counters was x, we know that the red counters is four times as many as the blue counters. So it would be four X. Red counters are four X. And in terms of X, the total then, in terms of X, would be four X. Add another X makes five X. So in terms of X, the total is five X. Now we can use this information to draw a probability tree. Okay, so let's take a look at this probability tree. I've just pre-drawn a tree, and we're going to fill the values in together. So straight away, the first branch we can uh, is the first counter. We can either choose a red one or a blue one. Now, out of the total, so the total has to be the bottom number on those first two branch fractions. And we know the total is 5x, so we put the 5x underneath here, because that's our total. The probability of choosing a red counter as that first counter is 4x out of the 5x because this 4x red counters out of the total of 5x counters and the probability of choosing a blue counter as the first counter is 1x because there's just x blue counters out of the total 5x counters now what about the next stage so let's first follow the red branch. So if the first counter, counter we picked was red, how would that affect the total? So the total now would be one less. So 5x is the total, one less than that. So we're taking one counter away from that. So the total now is going to be 5x take away one counter. So that's gonna be the same for all of them because you're taking one counter first counter that you've taken is that one counter. Okay, so let's follow the first branch. We've picked a red counter. How does that affect how many red counters are left? That's going to be one less. So 4x red counters, one less, so take away the one counter. It's 4x, take away one. If the first counter we picked was red, is that affecting the number of blue counters? It isn't. We haven't changed it. So that's still going to be an X number of blue counters. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. Let's pick a blue counter to begin with. So now we've picked a blue counter out of the 4X red counters and 1X blue counters. Is that affecting the red counters? It's not. So we're still going to have 4x red counters. But if we've picked a blue one as the first counter, the number of blue counters left in the bag is going to be reduced by 1. So that's x take away the one blue counter that we've taken. Okay, so now we've completed our probability tree. Let's go back to our question. The question says the probability that we pick two red counters is 22 out of 35. So the probability that we pick a red and 
a red is 22 out of 35. Okay, so in probability, when we see the word and, we know it's got to be multiply. So we're going to put the multiply in. Okay, so what's the probability of the first red counter? Well, that's this one here. That's 4x over 5x. That's our first red counter. Okay, what about the probability of the second red counter? That's this one here. That's 4x minus 1 over 5x minus 1. And they still equal the 22 over 35. Now we can use algebra to solve for x. So first of all, I'm going to simplify the x's on this one, because x and x both divide. Now we're left with 4 times 4x minus 1. So at the top, 4 times 4x minus 1. Underneath that, I'm left with 5 times 5x minus 1. And that still is equal to 22 over 35. Okay, let's expand these. So 4 times 4x is 16x. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4. 5 times 5x is 25x. And 5 times minus 1 is minus 5. And again, we still have the 22 over 35. Okay, now we can do some more algebra. If we multiply both sides by 35, that eliminates the 35 here. Then, if we multiply both sides by 25x minus 5, so times... 25x minus 5. That eliminates it from here. And now we can work those out. So what have we got? We've got 35 brackets 16x minus 4. And we've also got 22 brackets 25x minus 5. Now we can expand them and work them out. So 35 times 16 is 560 x. And 35 times minus 4 is minus 140. 22 times 25x is 550 x. And 22 times minus 5 is minus 110. Now, if we add 140 to each of these, that eliminates the 140 from there. And if we subtract 550x from both sides, That eliminates it from there. And now we just work this out. So 560x take away 550x is 10x. Minus 110, add 140, is 30. And now we divide by 10. That leaves us with x equals 3. And if you remember, the question asked us, how many blue counters in the bag? Well, blue counters is x. And we've worked out x. So the number of blue counters in the bag is 3. And that's all there is to it. The key skills that we've used today are probability trees and algebra. If you want me to go through a video solution for your question, send it to me using the details in the description. 
And if you are interested in private tutoring, visit our website skittles.school to book a free demo lesson. Okay, until tomorrow, thanks for watching.